Oh, I guess so. Welcome to the channel, Shelby Bates. Oh, shit. No! Make my targets a little bigger. Bri Fuck. Like I said, we're gonna give away a paddle, so. Yo, what is up? What is good? Welcome to the channel. Hope you all having a great day. Remember, if this is your first time here, hit that subscribe, post some videos every week, and you don't wanna miss it. All right, we're out here for another Average Joe Versa Pro video. All right, so. The guest I have on today, she was actually probably one of the first pros that I reached out to when I started this, uh, this not this channel, but this portion of the channel, this Pickleball Life. And we've been trying to make this happen for a minute. I want to say almost a year. It Maybe. Could, it could be almost a year. But um, like there's times where scheduling just didn't happen. Again, she's the pro, like they're traveling left and right. The drilling schedule just didn't link up. But she reached out to me saying, Ryan, are you down to play? I was like, Fuck yes, I am. So, everybody, we bring it to the channel. Welcome to the channel, Shelby Bates. What's up, guys? Welcome, welcome. All right. I, like I said earlier, I've been trying to get you on the channel for a while. When I saw your text yesterday, I was like, yes, <laughs> say less. What time can you do? All right, so give me a quick introduction to who you are, how long you've been playing pickleball. I am Shelby Bates, originally from New York, now living in Florida. I have been playing pickleball since uh, February of 2022. I turned pro six months later. Ben Johns told me that I was trash at pickleball, and here we are. Pro <laughs> love life. that. I love that. All right, before you even get to starting to play, like one of the things I always ask is, did you think that pickleball is going to lead to where you are now? No. Um, I thought I was just playing this because somebody doubted me, and no one doubts me. Um, and then a year later, I quit my full time job, told my parents I was going to play pickleball, and this is how I was going to live my life. My mom questioned if this was really a thing, and I just said, let's go with it. I love that. And it's so crazy now because I, I see I, online, I see a bunch of pros saying that they're, they're quitting their jobs to go full time. Like now it's, it's something that I've seen a lot of people do. And I, I think that's something amazing because it's a sport where people didn't see this coming, in my opinion. Because even when I started playing, I was like, all right, this isn't going anywhere. Like I, I picked up during the lockdowns, like a lot of people. But where it is now, like especially for me as an amateur, where it's taken me, like there is no way in hell I saw people doing this. <laughs> but we're gonna get to know Shelby, Shelby a little bit more. So here's how it works. It's gonna be a best of three uh, single series and we're gonna interview, interview you in between games. Perfect. All right, so what do you think? She just got done working out right now. She was <laughs> loosening up those legs. I always love any advantage I can. So we're gonna, I'm gonna try and make her run around as much as I can, make those legs work. But Ooh. I have a feeling I've seen her play. You also have seen her play. I hope I get, how, do you think I can, how well do you think I'm going to be doing? Oh, I'll give you six points a game. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to get warmed up. We'll catch you guys in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> One zero. No! Give him a layup, why don't you? Extra oh, one. Two. No. Fuck. Don't give it back to me. <laughs> I don't know, believe me, I'm not, I'm not trying to do any of that. One. Oh, I'll lift it up. Two one. Oh, I guess yes. wrong. Nice shot. She said six points, so let's see. <laughs> Three one. Ah! Oh no. The wind. I'll take them right now. No, no, no. Sooner or later, she's gonna get those dialed in. Two, three. Fucking hey, yes. there it is. Everyone I've played against has hit that spot and <laughs> uh, uh, you would think by, I am now 0-7, you would think I would know like, yo, they're probably gonna go there, no. <laughs> no. It... Oh yeah. Oh, I'll take that. All right, three, three. Yep. Went this way. <laughs> Four three. Fucking A. 
Okay, next. Five, three. <laughs> Here you go. Six, three. Oh, that's long. No. Three, seven. Yeah. I'll take that. Stupid net. Oh, that backhand. Four, seven. Oh, I was really hoping I was like, hit that. I was like, that spot's open again. Yes, I can't get lucky to save my life. <laughs> Seven, five. That's so nope. heavy. Oh, why I hit so heavy? <laughs> A five. Damn it. Yes. Nine, five. Oh, you lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> oh, five nine. No! Oh. All right. I'm at that six point she said I'd be at. Yeah. <laughs> six thought, nine. I thought I was going to stop you at five. <laughs> Oh, why did I stop? I was going there. Yes. Come on. Right. Nine, six. Great job, Ryan. Shit. Ten, six. Yes. A shot. Go. I was really hoping it was going out. <laughs> nice shot. I told you I'm dialed now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so she knows her game well. I got to that six points. She almost had me at that five point match with that net. Home court advantage for that net. You know, I know, I know how soft these nets can be. So I was like, yeah, hey, it'll be tap. <laughs> all right, but so when you're playing pickleball, I always like to ask also when you're going into these tournaments, what's your preparation like and what's your mindset going into it? All right. My preparation is always a light workout before I do uh, travel days to get my body stretched and feeling good and loose and ready for tournament play. Um, making sure that my nutrition is dialed in. Uh, lots of water, make sure that I stay hydrated, especially when I'm flying, because that's, ex I've realized this year doing 75 hard that drinking water and hydrating your body is super important. Mindset is I'm coming for everybody in my way and don't doubt me. And so not everything always goes according to plan. So let's say, for example, you find yourself down points, right? How, how do you bring yourself into that point to get ready for that comeback? Um, I really just try and get myself focused, walk back to the fence, tap that fence, take some deep breaths, um, really think about one point at a time and just be willing to leave it all out on the court and grind for every point. So when you're at these tournaments, like what are, what are your favorite parts about the tournaments and what do you think some of these tournaments can fix? Oh, well, my favorite parts about the tournament are all the friends that I get to see. Um, we don't all live in the same place. So being able to travel to some new, new cool places, doing some fun things, meeting new friends is always amazing. Um, I want to see these tournaments have bigger stadiums, more fans, um, a little bit more cheering, loud music, uh, just bring the energy. That's what it's all about. No, I totally agree with you because like the only run, there are some like you, you do find courts randomly, like you'll see a crowd around them. You'll get that change. So I know I love that vibe, but ha being able to have more of that more often, I can totally, I totally agree with you on that. So also when you're traveling, because like you said, you are traveling from state to state, not everything's in the same time zone. Like that, that travel life is, could be difficult on people. What is it that, what is it about traveling that makes it worth it to go to these tournaments? Oh, I mean, who gets to say that they get to travel for their job every week if they really want to, see cool places, new places, places that they've never been before, some places that I don't even know where they are on a map, and then I get there and there's some really cool, um, you know, so, so much to see in this new place, and I get to check it off a bucket list. I love that. All right, we're going to get into game number two now. I felt good about that. She did beat me. Like I said, you heard me talking. She's going to dial in those shots, and like they at, towards the end, like she was hitting every single one of those. So I got to anticipate more. I'm taking a guess at where she's going to go. <laughs> Hopefully, I can guess right a couple times and get them in. <laughs> but here we go with game number two. Oh. All right, zeros. Out. No, 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 no. That's not how you start the game. All right, here we go. Oh, one. What a sh I didn't think that was going in. I really <laughs> didn't. I stopped. I stopped moving. Don't doubt my serve. <laughs> but yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, one, one. 
Oh, no. why is it so heavy? See, I said that earlier. Don't, don't play the game. Place it. You don't gotta kill it. One, two. Oh! No! Wow. You are so lucky. <laughs> I was. The wind is only going 100% this way. <laughs> Yep. Oh. Yeah, she's going to that two. Front two, two. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. Nice shot. That's huge. God. That's what she said. <laughs> three, two. Yep. Damn, go, go. good get. Go, go. Yeah. Fuck. Ah. Using the wind to my she advantage. Likes that line. Three, two. Yeah. Nice. Fucking a. <laughs> uh, four, two. No way. No way. <laughs> Every once in a while. I hit the sickest <laughs> shot of my life. <laughs> two, four. Yeah. Hit my own freaking leg. Uh, three, four. I was going there. Nice shot. Four, three. Yep. Here we go. Five, three. Yeah. As soon as I saw it there, I was like, there's no point <laughs> in me moving. I'm not that fast. No! Damn it! A four and a seven. Prepare for coming back. Oh, uh, hit out. Fuck! Thought I had it. Eight three. No way. Just don't do that, Shelby! <laughs> Move faster! <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Four, eight. Fuck, why did I stop moving? <sighs> eight four. Oh shit. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Four, eight. Oh, I can't even fight. No, that. it's a redo. I know, I, I was waiting for you to say that. Four, eight. No, where's the wind when I need it? All right, eight, five to 11 right now. Oh, shit. Oh, no! wow, what a point. I missed the easiest one. <laughs> oh, so dumb. Oh, 211 right now. What the fuck was that? 95. Okay, here we go. 10 5. One point less. <laughs> All right. There are some points that I was figuring it out. Like if she's back, just soft touch it. <laughs> they worked out, but none of them worked out for a point. It was all just a side out. Yep. All right. So when you see things like that going on, we talked about it a little bit earlier. So when things aren't going your way, what's, what's going through your mind? Ooh, when things aren't going through my way, I kind of just start to make my targets a little bigger, bring that ball back inside, really try and regroup myself, stay calm and just stay within myself. Um, sometimes you can get a little flustered, get a little crazy. You know, the wind is different, the balls are different, the patterns are different. So you always just try and come back to center and ground yourself first. And so when you're, when you're finding like, you play obviously, you do, you do singles, doubles and mixed doubles. So when you're finding a partner, like what's that process for you? Because everyone, everyone's process is different. Oh, 
I really just look for somebody who um, wants to go out there and grind every day, really has good energy, a good attitude on the court. But I am a super fiery, loud person on the court, and I need someone to match that energy. So if you got it, let's do it. Nah, she, she absolutely is one of those people. I think, I forgot when it was. There was an APP, was it Chicago where you guys were indoor? Yes. With that fluffy com com uh, yes. convention. All right, perfect, so it was then. So if you don't know this, I've seen Shelby dive for a ball, do the splits, <laughs> get a point, and in those splits, pull herself up and let out this, like her signature yell. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everyone knows if you're like, in the pickleball world, everyone knows Shelby's yell. So how did that come about, like that fire, that energy? That has been with me from day one, um, my whole life. I've always had a lot of energy, jumping up and down, never been able to sit still. Uh, junior tennis, I like to know what's going on around me. I want everyone to hear me. And I was always just the one that brought the energy in college tennis and it's transferring over. No, it, like I said, like that energy is absolutely there. Like I became like a fan of hers early <laughs> on. I was like this, I would always, if, if I saw that your, your, uh, your match was streaming, I was like, all right, let's turn this on for a second. And like, she's the exact same competitor that you see if you see her live or if you see her on TV. It's an incredible thing to see. Um, so when you're in those tournaments and you get fired up like that, do you ride that high or do you, or do you try to like bring yourself back down also? Oh, I am somebody who always just has energy. If I need to bring that energy, I'm going to bring it. So if it's firing me up, I'm going to bring it. But like I said, if things aren't going my way, I just try and center myself. And then when I get a good point or hit a great shot, I try and pump myself back up again. And I just keep riding it till the end. I love that. Nah. And we're going to, so I know you, you won the two of three. I get it. You have time for one more? I do. Perfect. Um, we're going to get to this one more going. If, in fact, you're sponsored by Onyx. I'm sponsored by Onyx. Stay tuned. I'm going to do a giveaway on her behalf. Just have to wait till after this game. All right, here we go. All right. No more than four. <laughs> oh. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Mind games. Let's go. She right now. was. She had that. From the... One. Oh, that's still high. Bounce left. <laughs> oh, I thought I had it. If that went no two. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh, two. Hit it, hit it. <laughs> yep, you hit that stupid. Twos. No. Why? I just gave you a free invitation. I know. Why? Twos. Fuck you. Yes. Three, two. That's out. <laughs> what are we doing? Four? Four, two, What yeah. are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> Was that the right height? It was perfect. I <laughs> Got two it. four. Oh, I had it. You almost did. <sighs> yeah. Three four. Yep. Four, four. <gasps> Ooh. Five, four. He has the lead. No. Oh, so stupid. You had the lead, too. Yeah, I did. <laughs> All right. Four, five. Oh, no. Four, five. Yes. Fuck. Just what I needed. Five, five. I didn't need to move. I was going this way. The ball's over here. <laughs> All right, here we go. All Skip right, this. six, five. Got that wind behind me. Remember where the wind is going. Yeah, I just realized. I just realized that to myself right now. Oh shit. Shit. No! <laughs> I'll take that. Six five. 
Oh, I get a paddle, a nice shot. 7.5. Five eight. Long. No. No. All right. Six eight. What are we doing? That was stupid. Eight six. Yep. Damn. Oh, drop in. No. Fudge. <laughs> Nine six. No! Oh! No! You're supposed <laughs> to hit that. I know. Six then. Damn. Fuck. That was so stupid. No! That was so stupid. <laughs> I just had to fucking tap it over. Oh, I fucking Good had to do. Stupid fucking game. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> oh, you're, yeah, we just said it right now. She was right on the money as far as me getting six points each way, except for that one match. Um, so with the with the way pickleball is gone, like there's all these sorts of avenues. Like you're seeing amateur players doing YouTube videos. You're seeing amateurs having podcasts. Where do you see this sport going? Not just for like amateurs, but for everybody that's taking trying to take part in this realm. Um, I think the cool thing about pickleball is that there are so many avenues to be able to be involved in this sport. Um, obviously, you see professionals, you have amateurs playing tournaments, you have amateurs doing all this camera work, behind the scenes things, which I think is so cool. It involves them in the sport, but with pros. I think also the other really cool thing about pickleball is all the celebrities that are getting involved. So you see um, celebrity events, brand activation events with celebrities and pros and really getting them involved playing little pro-ams with uh, celebs and really growing the sport that way. I think everybody likes to see a celebrity try a new sport. You are not wrong. I love how you brought that out because that was going to be my segue into the next question. So especially with pros and like pros with like great character, great energy, like there's opportunity out there for you guys. So like, how, what's it like going to like certain events and as a pro have it being, and then seeing like finding that fan boy, fan girl in yourself? <laughs> um, I think it's awesome. Listen, I used to look up to some of these pros and think, oh my gosh, they're a pro. And now here I am with them. And I like to just be open and friendly to everybody. And I really like to see uh, celebrities come out there because I'm like, oh my gosh, you're a celebrity, but in this, you're actually a newbie. <laughs> All right, so like I said, we're gonna give away a paddle. So Shelby's Paddles by Onyx. If this video, we're gonna get this video 50 likes, uh, we're gonna be giving away an Onyx paddle. What paddle do you use? I use the Premier Raw Carbon 12, 10 millimeter. Perfect, so once this video hits 50 likes, all you have to do is like the video, and then comment your favorite part about this video. Once we hit those likes, I'll Shelby go to the comments, pick a name, and I'll be and we'll be sending you guys a paddle. Uh, Shelby, thank you so much. I'm so happy finally able to get this <laughs> happen. Um, I'm gonna have all of her socials linked down below. Give her a shout out, show her some love at any tournament you see her. Uh, anything else? No. Come Perfect. say hi when you see me. Love that. If y'all made this far in the video, thank y'all so much. Remember, hit that thumbs up. Helps the channel grow. Hit that subscribe. Posting videos every week, and you don't want to miss it. Other than that, hope you have a great day. Have a great rest of the week. See you at the next one. Peace.